show. Uh, welcome to what's probably going to be some sort of new type of series uh, where I'm going to be explaining some uh, techniques that I apply uh, when I'm animating a wallpaper. Recently I've, uh, I've been asked a question, how do I make my character blink? Um, so as a starter, or if this is going to catch on and people are interested, this will be the first part of a series where I'll, I'll be explaining the way I animate. Uh, I've already created uh, a tutorial before, um, but that tutorial is the process of animating a uh, wallpaper from beginning to end. In uh, this type of tutorials I'm just focusing on animating a single part and one only. In this one I'm going to be explaining my process and how to make a character blink. So, um, the first thing you want to do when you want your uh, character to blink is quite simple. Go to the effects, add a shake. Right. The next part you do, go to the opacity mask. Press show mask, set the value to zero, press clear. This will clear, it should look like this, like it. Uh, no white space at all. Then I want you to zoom in to your character. Uh, depending on the wallpaper, uh, animating a blinking character is easy, easier or not. Um, uh, mainly because the space between the eyelids and the eyebrows is necessary for wallpaper engine to actually create uh, the eyelid that's moving down. If there isn't enough space, uh, it might actually uh, be the eyebrows uh, that are going up and down and that might look wonky. So always try and uh, figure out for yourself if it's doable or just try it. Right, so the next thing you want to do is just apply what this uh, white opacity mask between the, the top of the eyelid and uh, the bottom side of the eyebrow. Do it on both sides. Just make sure to leave a little bit of room uh, in between. Makes it a bit easier. Right, and that's it for the opacity mask. Next, we're going to shake direction. Um, before we're going to do anything in the shake direction, create any movement, we're going to go to our bounce. I'm going to set them to minus 1 on the X and 0 on the Y. This will make our animation go to its lowest point. Uh, a shake effect only goes from point uh, X to Y. For example, if I want my animation to go up and down, by setting X to minus 1 and Y to 0, I'm telling it to go to your uh, most downwards point. If I'm setting uh, x to minus 1 and y, uh, y to minus 1, then I'll go to its most highest point. You'll see that in a second. Alright, so make sure you put this to minus 1 and, and 0, because it will definitely make it easier for you. Right, next, just grab a large brush, value 250 50, doesn't really matter, just go downwards like this. And try to make it in the same direction as your eyes will be blinking. All right. This is something that you should be looking at right now, like a very weird distortion. All right. What you want, usually want to do is make sure that it goes just uh, up, just below uh, the half of the eye. So right here, it's going up a little bit too much. So what you want to do is go to the strength and reduce it a little bit. So let's say it's 0.1 right now. Let's put it to 0.09. Right, so this right eye is looking pretty good so far, but this left one I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to add a 5 after. Right, this looks good. This is around uh, the amount of uh, eye you want to be showing underneath the eyelid. Right, so next step is we're going to open our shape direction again. We're going to press shore mask, put the value to 0, a bit of a little uh, smaller size brush, opacity, put a bit low and hardness as well. 40, 30, I'd say. This makes it uh, a bit easier for you to uh, remove the space. Right, so now what you want to do is you have this eyelid that's going up and down, but it's also going up and down away, as ne next to the eye, aside from the eye. You don't want that, that looks weird. So you're going to push this upwards a little bit. Right. If you see this, this I, forgot the, I forgot what it's called in English, this uh, the corner of the eye, that's usually where you want to stop. Same, we're going to do the same here. There we go. 
Right, now we're going to do the other eye as well, same process. Push it up just a little bit. Alright, this looks good, that looks good. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the space above. The best way to do this is to go to our X and Y, uh, bounce again, and set the Y to minus 1 as well. This will make it go to the most upward position of uh, your shake animation. So now we can just quite easily remove this until it nicely touches the eye. For example, if I just put it right here, you can see this weird line of distortion. You just want to keep removing it slowly but surely until it's gone. And we're going to do this here as well. Right, looking good. So this is something uh, your uh, shake direction should look like. This can be removed as well. Usually you'll actually only have the eyes in the red. Uh, I'm just going to leave this. Oh. This doesn't really matter anyway. You can just leave it as it, the opacity mask isn't quite shaking that part as well, isn't reaching it, so you don't have to worry about all this red, uh, redness. But if it bothers you, you can remove it. So for all uh, the people that it's bothering, I'll remove it, just so it looks a bit more clean. But it's not that important. Alright, so now you want to change, uh, play around with your bounce settings. Usually what you want to, uh, want to have for a blink shake, because your uh, shake already looks a bit weird. Say so if I go 0 and 1, this looks weird, doesn't it? So even if zoomed out, it's weird. So this does, just, just doesn't work. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to put your X bounce to 0 0.994. And you want to put your Y bounce to 0 0.997. Alright, now you have a really quick blink. And when you zoom out, it's the, the weird distortions are hardly noticeable. But say this blink is, is too uh, snappy for you, like it's just happening way too fast. What you can do is you can toy around with the uh, X bounce settings. This basically dictates uh, the time your uh, blink shake uh, takes place. There's a motion going up and down, and you're saying, all right, I want it to happen every 0 0.003 uh, milliseconds. So your entire shake animation takes place in uh, 0.003 milliseconds. Um, so if you want this to look, look less uh, snappy, just change your X bounce a little bit. You don't want to change it a lot. Right now I've got it to 0 0.99. It's already looking a bit better. Let's say what if we change it to 0 0.8. There we go. Much slower. Alright. But I want it to be a bit quicker because you can still quite noticeably see this distortion here. So if I increase it just a little bit. There we go, that's better. Now, uh, two additional things. Friction right here. Uh, X determines how long it stays, uh, your eyes stay open, and the Y determines how long your eyes, no, excuse me. The X determines how long your eyes stay closed, and the Y determines how long your eyes stay open. So, if you want, for example, that you, uh, your eyes, uh, oops, excuse me, touch them. If you want uh, your eyes to stay open way longer than the default, that's possible. Just make sure you unbind these, and set the eye to 2 for example. Do note, uh, when you do uh, this, it will increase the bounce animation as well. So uh, the speed at which the blink happens also increases. So you might have to change your uh, X bounce again once you do that. Usually you just want to tweak with the bounce and the friction settings um, until it satisfies your needs. And that's basically it. That's how you blink a character. Don't don't worry about it um, if the blink looks a little bit weird on its own, like here. Usually, if you throw in a lot of different effects, like cause uh, Aurelia here to move on its own, even the swords, add lighting effects, add other uh, effects, add uh, cause the, uh, hair to move as well, it'll uh, take a lot of the attention away from the eyes and it'll make it look perfectly natural. So. Don't worry about it if it looks weird, just throw additional effects on it. And even then, if it looks weird, just keep on tweaking. Almost every character is able to blink, uh, I found. Unless there's way too much hair in front of their eyes, then it's just the hair that's blinking instead of an eyelid. And that's pretty much it. Alright. Happy animating, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>